everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome travel trailer that's built like nothing else you've ever seen. This is a 2022 Airstream International Model 25FB. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Airstream and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video again today i am super excited that we are taking a look at an airstream but before i begin we got to say hi to our airstream expert hey, hey everyone. you're a native from airstream yeah. of tampa how's it going doing great awesome yeah so what's going on today uh we're at the number one airstream dealership in the world two years in a row now right two years in a three row. years congratulations you guys yeah. just got that third year in a row I'm last excited. week yep that's right so tell us a little bit about the Airstream International that we're looking at today. Absolutely. So this is one of my favorites. Um, this one right here is the International 25 FB. Uh, the overall length from tip to tip is 25 feet 11 inches long. Okay. Uh, the dry weight of this bad boy is going to be located over on this side. Perfect. Now for those of you wondering the difference between Airstream International Flying Cloud we actually have a video with Jessica, the GM of RV1 of Tampa. We'll link that video up there and down in the description below. But what are the specs on this bad boy? So your dry weight is gonna be 6,129 pounds. It's usually always right around 6,000 pounds. It depends on the options that you pick. Okay. Um, and then the fully loaded weight is 7,300 pounds. Perfect, and then that hitch weight's probably six to 700 pounds. Uh, it's actually gonna be closer to 800 pounds. Oh, wow, yeah. they're built different. Yeah. So let's begin right up here. What do we got going on? So first, the power jack. You have two 30-pound probing tanks behind this, or actually under this bad boy right here. You do have two, um, this particular model does have the AGM batteries. That's actually, that's gonna change for 2023 model year. So okay. stay tuned for that. Uh, you do have a probing connection over in the front. And then what's that, a little bit of storage there? This right here? Yeah, yeah. actually it's unlocked. Let's oh. show it to the peaks here. This is a twin bed model, so it has this compartment here in the front. Very it nice. It also has the ones on the sides. You got it, Matt? Uh-oh. <laughs> There we go, I got it. All yes, right. thank you. So it's gonna have the one on this side and the one on the other side. Very it's nice. Twin bed model. Okay, and if it's not the twin bed, then it won't have. It would just, if it's a 25 foot, it would just have the one on the side. Got it. But it's going to be deeper. Got it, okay. perfect. Um, something I don't think we have talked about yet is the spare tire that's actually located underneath the coach. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. I don't think I ever pointed that out. Well, actually. now we know. The yeah. more you know. <laughs> um, so we do have the well, rock shields yep. up in the front. Solid guard rock shields. Um, it would not have this white plastic. People always ask me that all the time. We're just going to peel that off when we detail it for you. And what is this made out of? This is a stainless steel rock guard. Okay, so the whole trailer is aluminum. That's right. And that's stainless steel to make sure it doesn't get dented up. That's right. Yep, Perfect. Got it. from the bottom to the top so it's gonna have the power awning so the flying cloud for example doesn't have the power awning but okay the international and up would have a power awning love it so the controls for that is actually located inside so this is your demand tankless water heater and run some propane yes ma'am okay. and then let's see the inside of this storage as I well know. if we can very nice and then these are manual stabilizing jacks underneath. That's correct. Very good. And then if you hold this right here real yeah. quick. Look at these tires, Nada. They're the good years. I love those. These are the ST225-75 R15. And then what type of suspension does this have? So it's a Dexter axle independent suspension. Very nice. It's not leaf springs. And you also don't have China bombs, which is a good thing. Shine and bobs? China bombs. Oh, China bomb. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? Okay, yeah, no, Goodyear Endurance tires. Now, you guys know the famous um, Airstream door. It closes like a vault. Yes. Eight hours for them to build the door itself. Wow. Now, what are all these rivets that I'm seeing if somebody's never seen an Airstream? Oh, yeah. All they, these rivets here. Yeah, they use about 3,000. 
and rivets overall to build the airstream okay um it's a really awesome process if you guys ever get to go to the factory you should see those guys um doing that they have a guy on the outside a guy on the inside uh putting the rivets together so. very nice and then right here we just have a little fold up step to go in on the inside yep. coming around the back look at that bumper look at this we got the door open it's like a convertible right here <laughs> right there that's probably a place to store your sewer hose yeah anything that you don't care is gonna get wet it's not yep. waterproof now the hatch is not available on all models it's only available on the flying quad or the international as long as you do the 27 or the 25 fb form plan. got it okay very nice i mean this is so cool we can see the inside you can have this open nice screen right there so you have have a good view of the uh, little pond right here and there's a big old gator in this one have you seen him we have gotten gators out of there yeah. no 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 he was here when i was walking up there's my motorhome oh, yeah. there and uh he had a big old head very nice and then um these these uh tail light design these vary model <laughs> brand to brand right yeah and they're custom made for the airstreams too nice um you're not gonna see that anywhere else very cool. You want to go on the inside? No, we got to go around this side. Have to do that side. We got to ring around the Rosie. See, look, if you look at the Caravel with that and then the base camp with that, all, all the rear lights are always different. That's right. So what else do we got going on here? All right, so we have your, the output of the furnace. Now, something unique about the Airstreams, international and up, the higher trims are going to have the window awning package. Very nice. Um, it's meant to keep your trailer cooler during the summer like a day like today yes ma'am she's like matt why are you coming here in the middle of summer <laughs> not only that guys if you notice that there's windows above there's two ac units on this which i absolutely love um because they can get a little bit warm and then uh that solar right there is that 200 uh so this one would be 180 watts nice but they are going to increase that for 2023 model years. i love it i love it and then what do we got here? This is the new smart plug? That's the smart plug. This one's 50 amps since it has two air conditioners. Uh, this is gonna be your camp power, so your cable and satellite connection. Very Next nice. Side. City water connection, black tank flush. Very good. You wanna make sure you're using different hoses for that. Yes. Portable water tank, and Portable. then your outside shower. <laughs> Portable. Yes. <laughs> and your outside shower. Yes, ma'am, and then right there, is where you're dumping the tanks and everything. Right. And something that I love, this is just plastic, but I love how they continued, they, they like spray painted it or whatever to make it's it all, yeah. yeah, it's important. It's the little things, right? Yep, oh, and there is a place for you to store your stinky slinky. Mm -hmm. You don't want it back there. And then this is because again, you have the twin bed model. There's another compartment on this side as well. Perfect. Well, Anita, the outside of this trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Right. Let's go, take a look. Let me uh, walk on through. Very nice. Some shade. Yes. You know, it's crazy because the AC is not on, but it's still not super hot in here. Very nice. Now, Anita, before we begin, we got to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Lippert. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by Lippert. Did you guys know Lippert does so much more than axles and chassis? They actually make a whole bunch of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I wanna show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back, you can relax it, you can, you, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the Big Bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. Great, Anita, so what do we got going on back here? Awesome, so we have your storage up here with your uh, DVD player. Um, these lights are going to throw through its switch right over on this side. So okay. So you can see. 
Very nice. So this is unique with the International is the front doors. Okay. If you look at the other Airstream models, they have the flip up door. So this is unique to the International. Very nice. Uh, now this does drop down into a bed. These cushions are what's going to complete the bed right over here. Okay. Uh, you do have a drawer right on the side. Very nice. More storage down here. Wow. It's something that I like. I do like what this material is made out of. I don't know. Do you know what material it is? Or well, the cabinets are made out of Italian ply. Oh, very nice. Now this pulls out. Okay. So you can turn it into a bed. As well. Yeah. Very nice. Interesting. Storage down here. Okay. First one gives you cubbies. Yes. Hefty. And then right up here, we can let in more natural light, yeah. which is nice. And, then and these guys right here. Yes. Very cool. And then you can see the aluminum is on the interior as well. And then right here, we do have a TV. Very nice. The fan above you is actually, it does have a rain sensor. So if it were to start raining right now, it would shut the door. Very so. nice. over here okay which is the one that you can access over on this side as well nice big trash hey can. that's a 147 dollar trash can <laughs> Anato. it went up in price huh it sure did inflation <laughs> so your square sink with a sink cover pull down sprayer right here very nice now this is also some of the stuff that varies model to model as well right so one unique thing thank you one unique thing about hey, the international hey hey, hey. you're welcome you're, <laughs> hey uh, i mean this is what i do you're welcome the international does have the solid surface countertops in the kitchen um the flying cloud for example would not have that so right that's what makes it a step up from the flying cloud perfect um you do have a convection microwave so now on this floor plan you have to choose one or the other either gas oven no microwave if you want a microwave you do have to select the convection microwave option there you go and then we got storage above here very nice yes right here we have a lot of our tanks and controllers yep. inverter switch nice little hood range and if you can grab those for us Drawers. yes very very nice and then that big one there. Well, it's not as big. Oh, oh <laughs> catfish me. And then this, oh my goodness. That is a lot of storage there. And then right there. Very nice. So this is a eight cubic foot refrigerator. It's fully electric. Okay. Made by North Pole. Yes. Storage up here. And then you don't mind thank you yeah a little bit of storage down there all right what do we got going on next so your closet okay very nice that's uh actually a really decent size this is actually where you will store the poles um once you break down the table by the patch got so it that's where you clip them in place very nice shower yes ma'am and if you don't mind holding this we're gonna check it out Oh, you can walk on through. Okay, so this is split shower here, a uh, one-piece fiberglass shower. Um, I'm five four, five five, so you know about five eleven. Then what you do, you just shampoo the top here, and move your, <laughs> to shampoo your head. Nice little this here. All right. Oh yeah. Perfect. Pretty good size shower. And then if you go through that way. I like how this kind of looks like a little sailboat. Yeah. Port door. All right. Okay, so in the bathroom, we have a mirror right here. Very nice. A little bit of storage. Nice sink area. Storage right there. Some drawers there. And it's porcelain. But unfortunately, with my leg placement, Aneda, this. <laughs> is not a prime pooping position. How do you feel about that? I don't know. 
know, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, continue. All right, so we're in the bedroom. Perfect. So this is a twin bed model. Uh, with the twins, they're 34 by 80. You do have storage underneath right here and right over here. Very nice. And they do give you this little nice cubby so you're not reaching stuff. You just pull it out towards you. Same thing over here. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Now, with the twins, you will get this closet right here. All right. Very nice. So, a little extra storage. If you were to do a queen bed model, the bed will be facing east-west. Okay. Just for your information. Yes. That's why, we're, Aneta, that's why we're here okay. for our information. Yes. <laughs> nice storage above there. And then if you want to access the side, just slide it over. Very good. Braided lights. Yes. Um, I get this asked a lot. You do have an outlet over here. You do have USB ports on each side. So you okay. can plug in your phones. And then this nice drawer here. And then that also is a great place for a CPAP machine. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Right here you got a little TV, zoned air conditioning, light dimmer switch, and everything. This one has two air conditioners, so the second AC is going to be located in the bedroom area, so that this is what that's indicating. Those are the intakes. Yes. And what else? I mean, you're awesome. Wraparound windows. Yes. Big windows and everything. Mm -hmm. The windows swing out, and this is just an overall great unit. Yeah. Well, Anita. We're going to go over the MSRP, but not inside this trailer. We're going to do that back in the showroom. <laughs> but first, we do have to give people three things we like about this unit and three things we don't like. Oh what do you want to do first? Um, let's do the dislikes first. Perfect. Right? I'll go first if you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. Aneta, dislike number one for me. I do not... I, I got to give them credit. I do like how the toilet's porcelain, but with me sitting on it, it had nothing to do with how wide I was. My leg was sticking out, and so it's just not a prime poop position. Aneta, that's dislike number one. Okay. Dislike number two. For me, a sofa like this looks very, very nice, but it's not plush. It's not like it's a recliner sofa or whatever. You know, it's very fancy, very firm. Does that make sense what I'm trying to say? Yeah. It's not like a lazy boy. And me, I'm a lazy boy type of sofa person. So that's number two. And then do you have a dislike or would you like me to do all three? You can do all three. Yeah. You ready for this? Yeah, go ahead. Don't like how the TV's right there. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't normally sit here like this and watch TV. You know what I'm saying? Now, it is a little tricky with Airstreams because there is no slide outs and everything. But for me, that's just no bueno. I'm, I, I'm not a huge fan of that. <laughs> that's three things we dislike about it. Aneta. Yeah. Now we want to hear what three things you love about this unit. About the international? Let's see. I love the look. It looks very refreshing. It's the Coastal Cove design by Airstream. Okay. It's, it reminds me of being at a beach house almost. Okay. Right. So, so you're saying out of all the brands, International does a really good job on their interior decor. Yes, correct. That's number one. That's right. Number two? Number two that I like about it, it's and this particular model is the hatch. I mean, this is a perfect sample. Please we're, sit down at the dinette. We're sitting right here by the lake. If mosquitoes or love bugs are out, we'll just pull this down. But you can feel that breeze coming in. We don't have it plugged in, but it's all the breeze coming in from that door. You know, and truthfully, like, we're sweating a little bit, but not as bad as if it didn't have the hatch. That's right. That's going to be number two. And then Aneta, if you don't mind following me. Yes. I would like to take over number three. Number three, I love the windows in here. They look great. They look nice, guys. At the end of the day, this is a very small travel trailer. And so for them to fit all of this no slide outs those windows just feel big and spacious the aluminum design all these rivets on the inside here if you could uh show this this is the other side of those rivets that anita was talking about just overall this is an awesome travel trailer um and i think we got to add another one it's just the uh construction of it you know what i'm saying right like just the way that they're built is probably second to none that's right. They're built built more like a house. They built the show first, and then literally everything else is brought in through the door. Perfect. Anita, let's go in on the inside. Anita, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> we got to practice that, but we'll get it. <laughs> Anita, what is the MSRP of that Airstream? So on this bad boy, it's $128,738. Dollars. Dollars. 
dollars. MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> now again, Anita, you do work at Airstream One of Tampa, which was the number one Airstream dealership for three years in a row. That's right. So if you guys want to get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience, how do people get in contact with you? So our phone number is 813-452-6344. Um, you can also go on our website and reach us there too. We have a little chat section where you can chat with us. Okay. Um, and how people? How do people spell your name? We'll put it up right here. It's E N E I D A. Perfect. If you guys <laughs> come to the store, please ask for her. She does a great job with these videos. Anything else you want to say? Uh, no. You should definitely visit us. I know we get a lot of people from all over the U.S. here. We have a 360 theater. We have a little museum area, and then we have this awesome deconstructed airstream behind us. So you can see how they're built. So. Very awesome nice. So it's a whole experience That's when right. you come here. That's right. Well, thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching thank and you. thanks for helping me with the video You're again. Welcome. And Anato, we'll see you next time. <laughs>